Now we are going to start with the subtopic of nitric acid that is the nitrates. So as you all know that nitrate uh, is something which carries a radical nitrate and what is that? It is NO3 negative, right? We can have metal nitrates, right? It is present in the nitric acid. So likewise it is present in the many compounds. So first of all our concern is that, that how we are going to prepare the nitrates. So we can actually prepare the nitrate by reacting metal with HNO3 metal or any metal compound with HNO3 or uh, like uh, compounds like metal hydroxide, metal carbonate or uh, this thing. So they can be actually uh, used. So for example, I have reaction of metal with HNO3. So this is my metal, let us say sodium. I am going to react it with HNO3. So obviously this has a positive valency, positive and negative. This positive part is going to attack this and we will get NO3 plus H2O, not H2 but H2O because we know that the HNO3 is a strong oxidizing agent. So this is what. Again we can get by reacting it with metal compounds like metal hydroxide. So this I have a metal hydroxide. I am going to react with HNO3. I am just go writing a valency in order to make you more well versed with the reaction. So again I am going to get NNO3 and along with that I get H2O. Likewise, I can have for uh, this thing the metal carbonate as well. Suppose this is my metal carbonate. Again, I am going to react with HNO3. I am going to put the valencies. Right. So, this positive again is going to react this. We get NaNO3 and respective oxides that is H2O and CO2. So likewise we can prepare many metal nitrates just changing the metal and just reacting them with the HNO3. And if we talk about the physical properties now, so physical properties they are all nitrates are actually crystalline solids. They are crystalline solids that means they have a strong bonding. Second is that that they all decompose on heating and we are going to take up this property as a main property and I am just going to show you that how they decompose actually. But for this moment just uh, keep in mind that they actually decompose on heating, they are not so stable, right. So third is that we can prepare the HNO3 back by reacting the metal nitrate, any metal nitrate with sulfuric acid. So when we do that, this obviously this K is going to react with SO4 and we get potassium bisulfate or somehow we can also get the potassium sulfate also and along with that we get our nitric acid. And they are actually the uh, this thing, the metal nitrates are soluble in water. And uh, one more thing is striking in my mind that if we are talking about the color, so you should know that mostly metal uh, nitrates are white in color, except like uh, copper nitrate is blue in color, the ferrous nitrate has a dirty green color and the ferric nitrate has a reddish brown color. I will repeat, copper nitrate has a blue color, the uh, ferrous, ferrous Fe2 positive one I am talking about, ferrous nitrate has a light green color or you can say a dirty green color also and the, the ferric uh, nitrate possess actually the reddish brown color. So that means generally all metal nitrates are this thing uh, colorless except these copper, ferrous and ferric nitrate. Now as I told you that these all uh, metal nitrates actually decompose on heating. So we are just going to, I am just going to show you that how they decompose and what are the products do, uh, we get as a result. So we are going to heat the nitrates again, it is clear. So the first is that then when we heat up sodium and potassium nitrate what do we get? So I have a potassium nitrate, I am just heating it because I have to decompose on heating, right. So I need to put a delta sign which will indicate that we are heating and on heating it is going de under decomposition. So we get, <coughs> we get Na2O, H2O and NO2. So it gets decomposed into oxide, water and NO2. Likewise, when we decompose KNO3, it again decomposes into potassium oxide, NO2 and water. So the likewise, that means we get a nitrogen oxide, we get a water and we get a metal oxide also. Now, if we talk about met heavy metal nitrates like copper, zinc, I am talking about all actually all heavy metals except the silver and the mercury one. So if it uh, this thing uh, heat it, what do we get? Obviously, we will get a metal oxide and we will get NO2 plus water, right. This copper oxide you know that is black in color. So the color of this is actually black. Then we talk about zinc, so it forms again zinc oxide, 
NO2 and water and the color of zinc is why actually like when it is formed it is hot so it's yellow in color but with time when it's uh, its temperature goes down it cools it cools up actually it uh, color again becomes white so likewise that means you go uh, this thing the nitrate undergo decomposition that is the copper zinc likewise you can do it for the magnesium calcium like that third we have as i told you that uh, the silver and mercury being heavy but they undergo decomposition somehow in a different manner so the, here i have agno3 so i'm just going to decompose it so when i'm going to decompose it i get ag i get no2 and along with that i get o2 and likewise if i do it for mercury um, nitrate so we get mercurous oxide no2 plus o2 this is actually this uh, this one this is actually uh, this is actually a silver mirror this will form a silver mirror so the difference between two is that that here uh, we get to see sorry it's not uh, h2o because we don't have any h here so we get only the cuo and the no2 but here what do we get that when we heat it actually we get the oxygen molecule along with that and the oxygen with no2 is something called as silver mirror likewise if we decompose ammonium nitrate what do we get we get the sorry we get n2o plus water and you know that what is this n2o this is nitrous oxide which is commonly called as laughing gas it is actually called as laughing gas so this is actually the effect of heat on the different metal nitrates you need to know that that sodium and potassium is behaving in a different manner and likewise heavy metal nitrates are behaving in a different manner nitrates of ag and mercury again behaving in a different manner and likewise ammonium nitrate is behaving in a different manner here uh, like we decompose nano3 i wrote here again it's not here it's not included this h2o we only get the metal oxide and the respective nitrogen oxide which is no2 so likewise you'll be doing for different nitrates for silver mercury for ammonium nitrate so likewise you have to do that so this is all about our nitrates now we'll be taking up the test actually which will uh, where we'll study that how we can detect the nitric acid and the nitrate so just look at the both carefully <coughs> 